welcome back to Mizer and Active Kids, where we actively invest in your future. Whose future? Your future. And I am so excited because it's a brand new day and we have so many exciting things lined up for you. But of course, I'm not on my own. With me is my beautiful friend. Oh, stop it, Marisa. Hi, everyone. I'm so happy to be here with you guys again and speak to you about our lovely homes. So, Marisa, yesterday we spoke about our house. Yes. Yeah, well. Today, what are we talking about? Today, it's all about chores. We oh, okay. know what chores are. Mm -hmm. They're where, like, when you need to need to need to iron, mm -hmm. like we have our iron on, on on our screen today, or when you need to take out the dog's poop, mm -hmm. or when you need to rake the lawn, or when you need to wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. I love washing dishes. You do. I love making foam bubbles. I like washing dishes, but not the pots. I hate the pots. Me too, I hate myself. the pots. I hate it too. <laughs> But of course, we need to remind you that you can catch us every single day of the week, Monday to Friday at 9 o'clock on the MyZone and, and Zoshi Facebook, Facebook pages. pages. And we want to thank our friends at Innovation mm -hmm. so much for our super cool beanbags. So if you need anything for your party, please send an email to info at, at kickstartnam.com. And Micheline, Tuesdays means also it's time for Arts, Arts and Crafts. But before that, we first need to sing a song. Mm -hmm. And since we're learning about says homes, mm -hmm. I thought, why don't we sing about family members? Yes, because we have a mommy and a daddy and a sister and a brother and a, and a baby. And, and a baby. Yebo. Yebo. Mm -hmm. So we are going to sing the finger song. Okay. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. And a one. And, and a two. two. And, and a one, one two, two, three. Daddy finger, daddy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Mommy finger, mommy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Brother finger, brother finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Sister finger, sister finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Baby finger, baby finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Yay! Brilliant, Marisa, prima. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's time for us to head over to Arts and Crafts, so let's see. What Who is doing Arts and Crafts today? Um, that is a mystery. Is it? It's okay, a mystery. I can't wait to see, let's Yay! go. Enjoy. I 
paper on and then I have a piece of paper. And what's cool is you can use any type of paper that you have at home. So since we're learning all about family, I thought why don't we um, create our very own hand family? So what I'm going to do is I am going to take my hand and put my hand on a piece of paper just like this. As you guys can see. All five of my fingers. Then I'm going to take this pencil and I am going to draw my hand. So we call this tracing. So I'm going to start here, um, as you can see where the paper ends here. And then I'm going to take the pencil all around. And I'm going to go around my fingers. That was the baby finger. Then the ring finger. Then the middle finger. My index finger. And I'm going all the way around and then I'm gonna go down again. So when I take my hand away, you'll see the outline of my hand. So what I'm gonna do now is, I am going to take, I also have some um, tip colored markers here. So I'm gonna just open my markers quickly and then I'm gonna take, hmm, let's take a black marker. So what I'm gonna do now, I am going to outline my hand. Whoops. So, just so that we see it nice.
but hers has But now it's time for us to head over to our friends, Zoe and, and Zaki. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hi friends, welcome back to the best show ever. My name is Zaki. Hi friends, my name is Zoe. I miss you guys so much. You guys and girls just get smarter and prettier and more handsome every time we see you. And we are niece, niece and nephew. nephew. This week we're learning all about my home. Zaki, mm -hmm. today is all about chores. Zoe, mm -hmm. what are chores? Um, chores are our responsibilities. It is the things we need to do every day. Um, 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 like what? Like cleaning your room every week. Um, or, or, or like taking out the trash? Yes, and making sure the dog has food and water. Chores can also be things like when we water the plants or we rake the garden. Mm-hmm, or helping to wash the windows. They teach us to be very responsible. And to always remember that people depend on us to do our chores every day. They teach us to be grown-ups because when we get older, our chores become more and more and more. Mm -hmm. So if we learn how to do them now, we will learn to do them and they won't be as hard. In our house, it's important that we all remember to do our chores the best we can. No matter if it is big or small, because teamwork makes the dream, dream work. work. Um, Zeki, mm -hmm. um, I think it's time for us to sing a super fun song about chores now. Yay! So, get ready friends. And, and a, a one, one, and a two, and a one, two, two three. three. I'm, I'm helping out around the house, around the house. I'm helping out a lot, lot of things that we can do. do. You can help me and I'll help you. you. Together we can do the wash, I can fold the small things. Like washcloths or matching socks, leave those up to me. I'm helping out around the house, around the house, I'm helping out a lot of things that we can do. You help me and I'll help you. Together we can clear the table, put things in the sink. I love to help with dishes, the plastic, don't you think? Clear the table, fold the laundry. I love helping you. Sweep the floors, is there more? I love to help because this is my house too. I'm helping out around the house, around the house. I'm helping out a lot of things that we can do. You help me and I'll help you. Together we can sweep the floor, I'll hold the dustpan still. I can help you vacuum or dust the window sills. I'm helping out around the house, around the house, I'm helping out a lot of things that we can do. You help me and I'll help you. Yay! I had so much fun learning about shows. Now it's time for your fun fact again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Did you know that chores teach us to be responsible, hardworking and reliable? I love all your fun facts, Zeki. Friends, remember to stay safe and love your chores. But that it is from us for today, friends. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye. I'm going to go wash.
dishes now. Okay, bye. Bye. Hi, everyone. So, we had so much fun with Zoe and Zaki, but now it's time for you to have some fun mm -hmm. with us. Yay! Regeline, so do you know what our active activity is for today? No, Marisol, please fill me in. Okay, so what we will be doing today is the following. So, we are going to um, do some squats okay. and some jumps. So, what you're going to do is you're going to put your feet um, like this, so a little further away. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then you're going to take your hands, lace them like this, and then push them out like this. And then we're going to squat down. Okay. So we're going to do one squat like this and then one bunny hop. Okay. And we're going to do five of them. Five of them. Okay. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. And one bunny hop. <laughs> Two bunny hop. <laughs> Three bunny hop. Four bunny hop. <laughs> And five. Last one, Marissa. Bunny hop. Yay! Yay. <laughs> and what's so cool is you can do different types of squats. You mm -hmm. can even do those lunges, those funny ones. Okay. And you can have so much fun together with your family. Or your friends. Yeah, bro. The aim is to be active. Actively invest in your, your future. future. Having fun at the same time too. Stupid. <laughs> but now it's time for us to head over to our online school, so mm -hmm. pre-primary. Please get ready because it's time for your lesson for today, which is week 11, lesson 2. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is my home. And before we get into any lessons, my dear friends, we need to sanitize. So let's take our sanitizer. But if we don't have sanitizer, we can use soap and water. We will start by rubbing inside our hands, around our hands, very good, in between our fingers, on our wrists, and our fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, my friends, we will start with the number four, arts reading and coloring. Now boys and girls, we are going to start our lesson by going to page five. On page five, we are going to be tracing the number four. Everyone, let's say four. Four. Well done. So the number you can see there is four and we are going to trace that number. So let us try and do it together. 
Let's take a look at the board. Now, when we're starting our number four, we need to start at the top line and then we go down. We stop just before the bottom line. We go across, we lift up our pencil, then we put a line in the middle. And that is our number four. Let's try again with our finger. Take your finger and then we're going to say from the top line, down, stop, across, lift up my pencil and down to the bottom line. So this one is very easy, but I want us to do it together. Here are the rules. Number one, don't rush. Take your time, boys and girls, because the more you take your time, the more you are able to catch all the trace dots, and then you have neat, straight lines. The second rule is say it as you go, so that you are guided by what you are saying. And when you are done, you take a look at your four and see where you need to correct. So let's try again. We're going to now do it with our pencil or color. We will start at the top. So let's begin there. We're going to go down. Make sure you catch all the trace lines. Very good. Stop. Across. Lift up my pencil and down. Good job, everyone. Let's try and do the second one. Let's go. Down, following the trace line. Stop. Across. Lift up my pencil. And then down. Well done, everyone. It seems like everyone's doing a good job. Let's do one more together. Down, stop, across, lift up my pencil, then go down. Well done, everyone. So the rest of the fours you're going to do by yourself. And before you do them, I want to show you things that come in fours. The first thing that I want to show you is a bee. Now our bee actually has four wings. One, two, three, four. So it's able to fly with its four wings. The next thing I want to show you is a donkey. A donkey has four legs. One, two, three, four. Can you think of any other animal that has four legs? There are plenty. <laughs> then we have four seasons where the weather outside changes. We have summer, autumn, winter, and spring. Those are our four seasons. So boys and girls, take your time when you're tracing the number four. Don't forget to say it as you go, to follow the trace lines as well, and to take your time. When you're done with all of that, I'd like you to please go to page six. On page six, we are going to use a newspaper to cut out the shape of a house and then paste it on the page. You can see they have given you a special box where you're going to be pasting. Now it can be any newspaper that you can have. Here I have the Namibian Sun. I've already drawn my house and how I want it to come out. So after drawing I'm going to use a pair of scissors. Now boys and girls it's very important to remember that a pair of scissors can be very dangerous. So when you're using a pair of scissors, please make sure that you have an adult with you. Once you're done cutting out your house, it's going to look something like this. I have now cut out my house and I've even put a chimney where I'm going to put the smoke to come out. 
when you're done cutting out your house you are going to use glue to paste now make sure that the glue that you use is something that you can use alone this is a glue stick and it is very very safe when you are done with your glue stick you roll it down and then you put the lid back on then after that i want you to check if your house really does look like a house so take your time with both exercises writing your number four and also doing your gluing with the newspaper and i'll see you soon after the advert break Follow us on MyZone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Now boys and girls, for us to continue our lesson, let's go to page 7. On page 7, we are going to be doing some things that involve our house. It is going to be our job to match the words to the pictures. Now I'm going to help you with two, but the rest of them you have to do by yourselves. So let's take a look. The first word we have is the word wall. Now a wall is what is used to make the sides of the house and the frame of the house. This right now is a wall and it is made up of bricks. It looks like this after it has been painted, but before it has its bricks layered. So this is a wall. I'm going to connect the word wall to the picture of a wall. So I'll take my pencil and try and make a straight line to the wall. Good job. The next thing or the next word I have is the word door. Now a door is used so that we can open and walk into a room or when we're done, we walk out of a room and close the door. The door is there to keep us safe as well. That's why at night we lock the door so that no thieves come in and try to steal all our furniture. So we have the word door and I have a picture of a door here. So I'm going to write a line from the word door to the picture of a door. The rest of the words that we have there, you're going to do by yourself. We have the word roof, then we have window, and then we have floor. It is up to you to decide which one is which. Once you are done drawing your lines, I'd like you to please join me on the next page, page 8. On page 8, we are going to color all the cleaning tools needed to clean the house. Now you can see there that we have a dustpan. Point to the dustpan. To the dustbin. Well done. A bucket. Good job. Something to use to clean the windows. Yes, the bottom one right there. And then we have a broom to sweep the floor. And then we have a brush. So we use a broom to sweep the floor. Then we use the dustbin to throw away rubbish. I have a dustbin in the classroom and I'm going to show you this tissue I used to clean my hands, but I'm done with my tissue. I don't need to leave it on the table. Instead, I take my tissue and throw it in the bin. Then, when the bin is full, boys and girls, we must take the plastic, wrap it up nicely, and then take it to the big bin outside where it will be collected to drain all the other rubbish. It's very important, boys and girls, to keep your house and especially your room clean. So have fun coloring them. You can even color them the colors you have at your house. Color them the color of the broom, of the dustpan and the dustbin. And when you're done, make sure that you have colored inside the lines. Have fun and I'll see you soon after the advert break. 
Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081-74-3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson. But don't worry, I know that you are going to be practicing at home. Don't worry as well. If you're not sure what to do or you don't understand, you can always ask an adult for help. Just make sure that you end up finishing all your work by yourself. So now that we're done with our lesson, it's important for us to sanitize. Do you remember how we sanitize? I'm sure you do. Remember, if you don't have sanitizer, you can always use soap and water. So we start by rubbing inside our hands. Very good. Around our hands. Good. In between our fingers. On our wrists and our fingertips too. Well done. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. I have a special friend and I know you know his name is Sashi, but I don't know where he is. I want to sing. Oh, <laughs> there you are, Sashi. So, Sashi and I would like to sing a special goodbye song. Are you ready, Sashi? Wonderful. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye, 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 it's time to say goodbye, bye! <laughs> Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, My Zone Online School, Amos Mirk. Wow, Micheline, I had the best time ever with you Me today. Too, Marissa, Thank I you did. for being a star. Oh, thanks to you. <laughs> but unfortunately, that brings us to the end of our show. But don't you worry, don't you fear. We'll see you again tomorrow for mm -hmm. Africa. But stay safe and until we see each other again. Bye. Bye.